Let us learn about the outbound delivery in SAP. The topics we'll be covering they are how to create a delivery note, change a delivery note, delivery note or outbound delivery is the same thing, how to display a delivery, how to search a delivery and document flow in the delivery and structure of the delivery document and also collective delivery and output for delivery document. So earlier we have seen in the order to cash, cash cycle we have seen how to create the quotation and the sales order. Now in this lecture we are going to learn about the next step which is outbound delivery, how to create the outbound delivery after you have created the order. Let us start with the business example. You are a member of the project team that is implementing the sales and distribution processes in SAP ERP. To get an overview of the several process steps from order to cash, you would like to know about the shipping process in SAP. Outbound delivery. So outbound delivery is basically um, uh, it's when the goods are are ready on the day as per the like uh, in the sales order we got the schedule lines that will confirm our delivery date that we have seen before. Now on that delivery date we will be creating the outbound delivery in the system. So outbound delivery means the goods are now ready to be shipped to the customer. So in that purpose we'll create the delivery document which is known as outbound delivery. There are some other steps within the delivery which are like picking, packing and post good issue that we'll talk in the other videos. So in this lecture we'll talk about how we can create the delivery. So VL01 is a transition to create, VL02N is a transition to change. So if you go to the menu path here, logistics, sales and distribution, shipping, outbound delivery, create VL01 to create and here under change you can see VL02 and to change. So select VL01 and, and double click on it and here you can enter the delivery uh, your order number. Now the thing you need to make sure is let me show you VA02 let me show you the order first. There are two ways to create a delivery so if I select the first item for example and double click on it, it will jump to the item details. Here if I go to the schedule line, it's saying that I'm due to be delivered in the future on 8th of November. Now, if that means 8th of November is in the future, today's date is 21st of October. So still got few days to go. Now if you can deliver it from here as well, from the sales order screen, you can go to sales document, click on the deliver. Uh, tab here on the uh, drop down menu and it will take you to the delivery screen. However, what what will happen is be, let me change something first and then I'll come back. Let me put today's date. Okay, now let me start again this process because I wanted to show you something. So if you open the order here Go to sales document deliver. See it will take you to this screen. What it's trying to do is it's trying to deliver it today. If I go back it's saying that no schedule lines due for delivery up to the selected date. That means it's trying to deliver it today but sales order is saying that um, I will be ready on 8th of November in the future. If I go back you can see the date here which is today's date. So it's trying to deliver it by default today. But the sales order schedule and was saying I'm um, due on 8th of November. So that's why you can't do it here now on as per today's date. So either you need to change the date if you want to do it today, then you need to change the date as on 8th of November or any date after 8th of November. If I even if put 8th or before after day 8, say 9 for example, if I try to deliver it, press enter, you can see it will now show me the next screen. So make sure in this screen you do it. So that's one way you can, uh, I will not save it for now. That's one way you can deliver it from the order. You can open the order VA02 and do it from here within the order. 
here or the other way is you can use VL01 and transaction and make sure the date here is not today's date so whatever date in the future as per the schedule and put that day or after that day enter your order number press enter and shipping plan was copied the thousand we're using for for at the moment even if I show the order order will tell you that I am su supposed to be shipped from this if I select the line item double click on it go to the shipping tab here you can see my shipping point is thousand so every item has a shipping point and there is a there is a there's an automatic derivation of the shipping point that I will talk later on how, how system knows and where it will find the shipping point so for now I will use VL01 and to deliver it so make sure the date is right as per the schedule line press enter and here it will copy both items so even say even one item has we got two items here say in the sales order you have one item delivered to be delivered on 8th other to be delivered on say 12th then when you put 8th here or 9th here then in that case system will only pick the item which is due on 8th if you want to pick both items then you need to put 12 just an example so that is your delivery document here so here you can see the delivery quantity is 2 and this is by default 0 0 so it will copy the quantities from your order you can change it here for example out of 2 for XYZ reason you want to deliver 1 you can put 1 here if you want I'll leave it for 2 for now so that means you can partially deliver as well so once you are done uh, you can save it it will generate a delivery document number you can see at the bottom 8001775 if you want to see that go to the change mode VL021 it will remember the last number or you can click on the search button to search for it so for example I can say the ship to party was 301623 I guess no, I think I use a different ship to party six to four yeah that one because we had the different partner function in the sales order so if you open that so that's a delivery document <coughs> so delivery document uh, that's how you create it um, let me go through some theory first then we'll come back to this one with outbound delivery document Outbound deliveries are the basic documents for the different activities during the shipping process. In most cases, they are created with reference to one or more sales order that are ready to be shipped. Due to the reference, the system can copy all the relevant data from the order or orders in the outbound delivery. The system can create deliveries either online or as a background job to be executed during the off-peak hours. Now, what happens is there are two ways to do it. This is I'm showing I was showing you how to do it manually, but it can be automated as well. So I'll talk here about the automation, which is done by the collective processing. <clears throat> so basically, I've shown you how to create one delivery document, but in real time, what happens are there are maybe hundreds of order. There can be hundreds of sales order in a big organization that are supposed to be delivered today for example in that case we're not going to create each and every delivery manually so if we got 500 orders to be delivered today i'm going to do it manually manual delivery i will create one by one that doesn't make a sense it will take me two days to do it right so we got a collective process that is used in the real time okay most of the time so collective process what it does is it will use your it will all the it will collect all the pending orders that are supposed supposed to be delivered today and then it will deliver them automatically it will clear create the delivery documents for example the transaction code is VL 10 a or VL 10 G they are similar transaction if I if I open slash and VL 10 a that is a sales order only if it, it will just show you the sales order screen but if you open the VL10G, it will show you the sales order and purchase order.